And that's it. Now we can... We shouldn't be afraid that something will happen to our final render. Especially better if the render takes 7, 8 or 10 hours. And this time is just wasted if some problem happens. If necessary. And we can save all render passes without opening 3D Max. This is very convenient and makes work more flexible. And yet another important moment. When you install Karana Render, make sure to have a check mark to install this image viewer. Hi, today we'll cover the CXR format and how to upload all render elements, which we saved and prepared for our render for post-production to Photoshop. First, CXR is a special format which saves Karana Render. So what's the advantage? It saves everything, all our render elements, and the render is in the 32-bit format. We can use two ways or open it in frame buffer. I've got the project open. This is the final version and I can either adjust something here and save a, a render element or open it in Karana Image Editor. Now I'll show you how to save directly from 3D Max. Click save and hold the button for a while. Save all, specify the path where to save all our render elements. Choose a folder and save it in it. I already saved render elements for this project, they are here. Okay, I have all these render elements saved. We enter a name here, choose format, and it saves. Now we can use all our render elements. Now, another remarkable function of the CXR format is if you stop render, let's say the rendering is on in the final resolution and you need to stop it for some reason or your PC turned off. That's not a problem. If you saved CXR render, you can even save when rendering. So your image is rendering, you hold save button, then saved CXR appears and you save it in the required folder. I've got this file saved so I'll save it typing 2 in the name. And after that, you can close 3D Max, turn off your PC, come back after a while and start rendering from that particular moment. So how to do it? You open frame buffer, you want to have a picture here, open the scene, then hold render button. The resume file button appears. That is, you select the file to resume rendering. You select the file, render is uploading, and it starts rendering from where it was stopped. This is a great function which allows us to render between times. For example, you have free time, you can start the render and leave, and do your thing, and then come back, stop the render, and then continue from the same place. When you're gone, your computer will not be idle, but will render your picture in the final resolution. We're already preparing for rendering, and now it will start. Here we already have 179 render passes. Let's stop it, it was just a demonstration. Karana Render also has the very remarkable feature. You enable autosave of these CXR formats and if your computer suddenly turns off or there's some other trouble with it, you can set a timer and the timer after which you your file will be saved. For example, you can wake up and continue rendering from the last autosave. So how to set it? You go to Karana settings menu and Systems tab, then System Settings, 
and check enable autosave checkbox in the output autosave parameter. So we set the time interval after which we need to autosave. I have 20 minutes set. Here we set how many render files will be saved at the end of the render and the number during rendering. I have five copies to be saved during rendering. When five copies are saved, the sixth copy will be overwritten with the first one and so on. We specify the path where to save our files and that's it. Now we can, we shouldn't be afraid that something will happen to our final render, especially better if the render takes seven, eight or 10 hours and this time is just wasted if some problem happens. Anything can happen. Computer shuts down, blackout, some kind of error in 3D Max. And autosave will protect us from it. So we keep learning the CXR format. You save the CXR format and you can now open it with a, a special program from Karana. Karana image. It's in program files, Karana render for 3D Max image editor, run it, and you see a window. Very similar to Karana render frame buffer. Open it and open your file. Here we can make the same color correction, for example, tone mapping, especially configure all other settings. We can even configure light mix if necessary. And we can save all render passes without opening 3D Max. This is very convenient and makes work more flexible. For example, you can send your client this image file and they can make some changes, let's say change lighting and light mix and then send you, send it back to you and you can work on post-production. Now I'll show you two ways of how you can upload all your render elements because it's very burdensome to do it in, at a time. So we open the file of every render element and put it in one layer. It's very easy to do. You go to Photoshop, File, Scripts, Menu, and Find Load Files Info Stack at the very bottom. Here we select our files and you can select all or just those you need. For example, we don't need pass, albedo, but we need all the others. Click OK, files loaded in this field and just click OK and they automatically upload in one file. Okay, now that it's done, we can proceed with post-production. We can also upload render elements without saving intermediate PNG files. We go to our frame buffer, select any pass, let's say alpha, press Ctrl C, it saves to the clipboard, then we go to Photoshop, press shortcut Ctrl V, and paste it. Now we just need to call it. This way we can move all other files. It's a little long, but you free up space on your computer by not generating unnecessary files. Choose the way which is more convenient for you to upload the render elements, one or another. And yet another important moment. When you install Karana Render, make sure to have a check mark to install this image viewer. Let me start the installer and show you where it is. It installs by default, but if you go to Custom tab and click Next, you see the image editor check mark here. 
If you uncheck it, the image editor will not install. If this box is checked, it means it will be installed. But we have it by default, so you probably have image editor. So there we have it. Thank you all and see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.